In behind the gate for tonight's third race, off stride well before the start. The two hotshot blue chip Tom can go has made a break as well. They're off and trotting in tonight's Breeders' Crown Final for three-year-old trotting Colts and Geldings. And the quickest off the gate is Swan for All by leaps and bounds. Triumphant Caviar left enough to gain that pocket spot. Coming away third as they drive into that first turn is striking Lindsay. Muscle Hill is off the speed, racing along from in fourth. Towards the inside fifth now as the field tracks its way to the quarter pole. Their inside fifth is Naysay Hanover, still parked out from sixth. That's P.J. Clark riding his cover seventh outside Broadway Bistro. Tucked in at the rail from an eighth position is How the Halo Are You? The quarter's up in 28 and three. And here comes Sears and Muscle Hill now, trotting up out of fourth into third, soon to be second and coming right after Swan for all. So Swan for all will lead the three-year-olds to the back stretch on a two-length lead. Here comes Muscle Hill. Muscle Hill is grinding away first over now for Sears. He is second on the outside, but still a full length away from Swan for all. Swan for all inside. Muscle Hill on the outside, and Muscle Hill will take over command. Half is up in 57 and two. Muscle Hill on the outside, still working for the front. Swan for all back in second. Three lengths in third, two triumphant caviar. Then it's another four lengths back inside fourth to striking Lindsay. Well back in fifth as they continue into the far turn is Naysay Hanover. So the field trots to the final turn. Muscle Hill is up front. His lead two lengths now as he begins to step away from Swan for all who's back in second. Third towards the inside, triumphant caviar. And it's five lengths further back inside from fourth to striking Lindsay. Three quarters in 124 and one fifth. And as they come off the turn off stride went Swan for all. Three quarters in an amazing 124 and one. Muscle Hill 26 and four in that third quarter. And it is Muscle Hill still up front. He leads by four lengths. Coming on in second is Triumphant Caviar, then back in third, back on the trot is Swan for all, deep stretch lead for Muscle Hill, it's 20 straight, it's back-to-back -back crowns for the undisputed king of trot, Muscle Hill wins the Breeders' Crown by over two lengths and he's home in 154, one fifth, Triumphant Caviar second, and finishing third was Swan for all. The trotters have reached the back stretch and they are... Underway, early speed from Fra Blucher in between horses. Has it by about a half length. To her inside, there is uh, Masher Hall moving up close. Be a magician hanging for a moment there at third as Fra Blucher now clears. Back at the pylons is Coffee Cake Hanover. Thistledew finds a spot fifth in front of Bouncing Backs. Another length and a half to hand over Bell. And at the back of the pack, time to kill in South Wind Coco. Now be a magician wheeling around the turn wide there. The quarter is 27 even Brian Sears wants to be a magician out on the front end here at 1 to 9 and she steps to the front with relative ease going past Fra Blucher it's another two and a half lengths back to my share halt they're strung out a bit on the front end coffee cake Hanover is fourth well behind her cover bouncing backs on the outside for Parker and over Bell follows that and gets shoved a big wide as also Thistle Dew came out time to kill his eighth at the back south wind Coco they have 55 and 2 28 and 2 second panel pretty crisp practice actions here in the slop and be a magician looks unhurried there on the outside bouncing backs first over and now within a length of the lead here a strong charge there Fra Blucher is getting a good trip there in third another length and a quarter there to coffee cake Hanover Thistle do is fifth on the outside Handover Bell having a hard time sustaining her move but it's still be a magician and still Sears has an ass three quarters 124 even 28 and three third panel be a magician repel the charge of bouncing backs. Frau Blucher is right there still in the pocket. Coffee cake handover hoping for an opening on the inside at the top of the stretch. Be a magician and still Brian Sears hasn't lifted a finger now and Frau Blucher is becoming a fleeting memory as be a magician without any effort whatsoever just coasts away. Be a magician. Perfection in 2013 wins romping at the end. Frau Blucher was second and Southwind Coco came on for third with Thistle do fourth. Be a magician, spotless in 152 and four.